Next stop, Ontario Street. Next stop, Parliament Street. Next stop, Wilson Park Road. I'm on my way to meet Peter Katz, one of my oldest and dearest friends. We have a tradition. When Peter finishes an album, we drive down to Cherry Beach and listen. After a long streetcar ride from one end of the city to the other, I finally meet my friend, who's been waiting my arrival impatiently, so we can open the first copy of his new album, First of the Last to Know. Hi. What day is it today, Peter? It's uh, the best day ever. <laughs> what day is today, Peter? Today is January 20... 20th? 1st? No. Tw- Isn't it the 20th? No, 21st, yeah. yeah. January 21st, 2010. And uh, my new album is in the back. Uh, and uh, I'm very excited. And it's been in my living room for the past hour and a half. <laughs> but I refuse to open it because... We have this tradition where we go down to Cherry Beach to uh, listen to my new records, and we're almost there. But it was a very agonizing past hour and a half. I was like, <laughs> kind of freaking out. And what's the album called? It's called First of the Last to Know. And why is it called that? It's a very long story, but the title track of the album is called First of the Last to Know. And uh, in a brief nutshell, it's kind of about um, being in process in life, sort of not where you want to be, but also on your way to somewhere and uh, kind of having feelings of incredible insecurity, but also feelings of incredible excitement and the unknown. So it's kind of a good place and a bad place, but a, hopefully a human place. So. What was it like making this album compared um, to the other ones? It was pretty pretty intense, but it was also um, really amazing because having made the other ones, then I realized all the things that I didn't want to do. And, and with this record, I really wanted just to try to get as close as possible to the experience of just playing live and just kind of being intimate so tried to strip everything down and we just went out to this barn in the middle of nowhere and there were no sound booths and if you wanted to get a good take everybody had to be quiet versus you know you're just in a booth so it doesn't matter so there was a real kind of excitement and intensity to it and we kind of lived at this barn for a month and made a record and then made revisions for a year (laughs) but uh yeah so hopefully it's it has an essence of of not being not too much going on that's my hope you gotta crank it up It's so crazy. It's just crazy. Like, it's just crazy how, it's just like, it's just uh, one other CD in the world 
in a sea of millions of CDs, but it means a lot to me. Everyone is breaking out. I've got my copy signed. I hope you get yours. Maybe take a drive down to Cherry Beach and just listen. While I watch them all go by from the corner of my eye, wondering what I'm made.